Words, 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 words. Spoken word, poetry brought to life, a play on words, the art of storytelling, the tone, the gestures, the expressions, the atmosphere, an outlet to release views, emotions, life experiences, information. Words, 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 put together, arranged so skillfully, upbeat, downbeat, rhythm of a heartbeat, heartbeat. Heartbeat. Hunter Memorial A&E Church hosted the Emerge Poetry Slam, which featured artists from around the DMV. This is Princess with DMV experience. Sit back, relax, and let's go play with words. And let's experience the DMV together. Remember, he is God of this city.
Anyone can have sex with no strings attached. But can you love me when it's over? Can you hold me in your arms and whisper sweet nothings in my ear when we're done? When the chips are down, we're both struggling. Will you have my phone? I'm not looking for a one night stand or summer fling. I'm looking for that diamond ring, that bling bling that can blind the hate blind the haters and shut up the naysayers. I want love. I want your words to make me speechless and your touch to make me hopelessly fall in love with you. Hopelessly, a romantic, frantic, desperate at the thought of losing you. Let me love you and you can love me all for all eternity. Start a family, have a soccer team of babies. <laughs> I want my Prince Charming, whether it be on a budget or a money unlimited. Are my standards high? Yes. But is it worth it in the end? Absolutely. I don't want to get married thrice. Yes, thrice. Once is enough for me. So if I have to keep having Cinderella have so if I have to keep having Cinderella stories, hopes and dreams, just to be kicked down by reality's truthful tale of the foot, I will, because it's worth it. <laughs> what do you see when you look at me? Do you see a confident plus size African American young woman? Yes. <laughs> or do you see, OMG, she's so fat. I must, she must hate herself. Or my, look at her hair, it's so nappy. What do you think? What you think of me is what I think of you. When you hear enough negativity in their ignorance. Their ignorant mentality embeds itself in your psyche. I am a woman. Not only am I a woman, I'm a black woman. Not only am I a black woman, but I'm a black woman with natural hair. Not only am I a black woman with natural hair, I am a voluptuous black woman with natural hair. Four attributes, four attributes elevated me from normal to extraordinary. And my choice to be this way makes me extraordinary royalty. So what I'm saying is, my body is none of your business. Whether I work out or not, it has nothing to do with you. Whether I choose to wear a, a two-piece swimsuit or a dress with no arms, if you don't like it, don't look. And that's the second piece. I was being emotionally promiscuous as I shared my, my already fragile heart to anyone who promised to love me. Because when I couldn't see my own beauty, it was hard to discover the lack of sincerity in my so-called suitor. More like looters, itching to get their grimy hands on that little thing that I called my virginity. The ultimate epitome of my purity. Pity is what they thought they would get. Their pity is what they thought would get them their treasure, but little did they know that the ability to pressure, the, the ability to pleasure would get them nowhere. See, I was stupid, but not that stupid. So lucidly, I decline, knowing that mine is mine and not yours to plunder. But sometimes I wonder how long would it take to wake up to my one true love, sent from my from, sent with my only sent with only my name on it from heaven above. How many frogs do I have to kiss to get the prince? Because falling deeply in light just isn't enough. I wait. He stroked my ego and taunted me with his charm. I would have given anything to be on his arm, but one thing he wanted I wasn't willing to give. So he decided to live without me. Nothing given, nothing gained. My heart ached. I was furious. Curious as to why in the world is sex so important. But until I find something, somebody worthy, I'll wait. Thank you. Yes, I am. Every day, kids witness bullying. Why are you stabbing me with it? No, they want to help, Ow. but don't know how. Oh, you Teach your kids how to be more than a bystander. Visit stopbullying.gov. How can I help my daughter with her reading? Searching for help with Dachshund Reading. No. <laughs> Let me try. Sarah's bright, but when she's reading, she has trouble sounding out words. Playing world music. What? I give up. Wait, I was trying to show you how Sarah feels every day. Frustrating, isn't it? 
redirecting to understood.org. Join parents and experts at understood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues to help your child thrive. I'm a teacher. Let me tell you what I make. I make learning a privilege, not a chore, and frustration a tool, not an obstacle. I make working hard seem easy and giving up impossible. I make an old subject feel like a fresh thought and unconventional methods common. I'm a teacher. I make more. I was born to be a writer, born to learn and be consumed by the written language and those who have mastered it, like Poe, Melville, Hawthorne, Hemingway, Hughes, Dickens, Dante. I was born to have a pen in my hand to put to paper endlessly into all hours while and wistfully most write it. But I've come to a standstill, a standoff between my mind and my intentions because it's come to my attention that I have nothing of worth to mention. But you could literally cut me open in my literary blood to be black and blue ink, begging to be used in a pen for writing words. I have all of the skill, all of the ability. But I have nothing to write about. <laughs> Is Nico stressed? Nah. Just waiting for Nico's time, I'll smoke nicotine in the meantime and write mean rhymes about my green times, the times I was green behind the ears, when I didn't know what to do. Or when I was green with envy, trying to be that dude begging for his due. But the due dates passed and my new dates didn't last. And instead of trying to amass an amount of perfection, I took direction and started working outside in, perpetuating sin since lust is what I've learned best. Obsessed with trying to protest my caress to that ego, even suggesting that equals, but he knows my friend and afraid personality swayed the day I decided to trade my arrogance for decency, and recently, the pay, that trade came worse out in my favor. The flavor text of time reads, try again later. Better later than never, and I'll pay for express shipping, ripping hair on my head, trying to express my stress, flippings, bouncing off the walls, making the show out of my palm. Because my calling is so similar to the small words I choose to use, whose turn is to drop a line on this fool, who will put up with a mind that pretends to make its own fill. Will you inhale that cigarette smoke and crunch your nose in disgust? Must you give me a dirty look for appreciating a good fuss? <laughs> Busted for looking, and I'll try and correct my glance and connect my stance and approach with confidence because this dirty dance around the top is just obscene because we all know I just come for one thing, to figure out why Nico has been given time. After the first quarter and after the second quarter, I met her. I seen her and my curiosity got peaked. I wanted to know more about her. Even though I seen how treacherous she was every time she liked someone, I, I had to feel my curiosity. Regardless if this little cat right here would have got killed, I had to know for me. So it was after ninth grade, the first quarter, and the second quarter, I grew some balls. And I went and I got her and I told her to come to my house. And I made all types of pit stops to get her everything that she needed from she can make me feel good. And when we got there, I set the mood, I set the candles, and I set up my desk with the boom box. And I strategically placed play on my cassette because I had mastered the perfect mix. And I waited for her to prepare herself as I helped her to get ready. And she introduced me to something that I had never, ever felt before. Now, all of a sudden, I understand why people have been so salty. Now, you got me hooked, shorty. Shorty, I've been trying to figure out where have you been all my life when I cried in this night and when my heart was hurting for long, but now that you're here, oh, I ain't about to leave you alone. And you can have all those people out there. They can call you all types of names and take you all types of places, but you have a special place in my socks. Because if the boys run up on me, Mary Jane, I don't need them to find you on me, but I'm going to smoke you in the woods, on the balcony, on the deck, I'm going to smoke you in the 
kept Mary Jane in my socks, but I'm moving up to that little special fucking thing. Because I need her to be accessible to me when I need it. When somebody pissed me off when I got paid, when I was happy or when I was sad, when I was bored or ready to have fun, when I was hungry or when I was horny, when I was running for God and I was running to him, she was still my best friend because it ain't been often that I went to church, but it was often enough that I went to church trying to get some relief and some understanding, but Mary Jane was tucked safely, free bowl and ready. My phone was just a simple text away from letting me know when the bus was coming so I could go and meet her and be free her. Because see, God has been telling me that some are called. And there are others who are chosen. But there's something in the realm that has been going on where he's telling me about these people who are anointed. Oh, anybody can say some cute words and poetry and make you snap your fingers. Oh, anybody can tell you sweet nothings and make you feel so good. But only a certain few can get up there and make you think, yeah. reflect, yeah. repent, yeah. and cry.
today. Somewhere after the ninth hour of the sixth day of the second month of the 2015 year, God said, all that has happened in the past was perfectly planned and written on the walls, and all things that are to follow are going according to plan. So I sit back and be ashamed of who you are. When every man and every woman that was ever used in the Bible had a past. Yeah. You can't come up here, minister, or speak or set free or break chains. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for you who 
You are the truth, God. So we thank you for all the truth, God, that has been spoken in this place and in this atmosphere, God. We thank you for empowering us through words, God, through your word, through your vessels, God. We thank you for their willingness and the freedom and the liberty with which they have expressed themselves tonight. Now, God, I pray that you will bless and pour back into them everything, God, that they have poured out, God, and let them know that their stories matter and that somebody was blessed by their story, God. Continue to let them keep spitting the truth as long as someone will listen. God, I thank you. I thank you for each and every one of them. Now, bless us and keep us is our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 God bless you.